Mexico and the United States always have plenty to discuss. With a 3,000 kilometer long shared border, across which there is a constant flow of people, commerce and drugs, every administration in Washington is obliged to maintain strong ties with their southern neighbor. President Obama is no different. A lot of the focus is going to be on economics. Uh, we've spent so much time on security issues uh, uh, between the United States and Mexico that sometimes I think we forget this is a massive trading partner uh, responsible for huge amounts of, of uh, commerce and huge numbers of jobs on both sides of the border. We want to see how we can deepen that, how we can improve that, uh, and uh, maintain that economic dialogue uh, over a long period of time. But that doesn't mean we're not going to talk about security, he added. With some 70,000 killed in drug-related violence since 2006, the fight against Mexican drug cartels has been the constant backdrop to the bilateral relationship in recent years. Cocaine produced in the Andes heads through Central America and Mexico en route to the main market, the U.S., Mexican drug cartels also produce much of the methamphetamine, marijuana and heroin consumed north of the border. Mr. Obama may be hoping for a commitment from his new counterpart, Enrique Peña Nieto, to the same strategy on the drugs war as Washington enjoyed under his predecessor, Felipe Calderón. Mr. Calderón actively encouraged U.S. involvement via the Drug Enforcement Agency and the CIA, as well as the use of American drones and spyware to seek out drug barons. But he may be disappointed. Mr. Peña Nieto has talked of taking the strategy in a different direction, to focus on reducing violent crime rather than making high-profile arrests of drug lords. His critics say it might involve a form of pact with the cartels, something his administration denies. Certainly that wouldn't sit well in Washington. In part, President Obama and Enrique Peña Nieto will be weighing each other up on a personal level to see whether they and their respective administrations can cooperate more closely in the coming years. So far, the signs have been warm and reasonably positive, but as always, there are thorny issues of cross-border trade, immigration and security up ahead. Will Grant, BBC News, Mexico City.